please subscribe. The 3.0 litre diesel V6 from an Audi A6, stay with us, that's offered in three different outputs, including this mind-boggling 221 bhp version. It actually has a further 19 bhp available on overboost, activated when the accelerator pedal goes past 70% of its maximum travel. Of more interest is the fact that this version has all of its torque minus 406 pounds feet of it, on offer from 1400 revolutions per minute. As a result, the 0 to 62 miles per hour sprint takes 8.0 seconds and strong acceleration is always a mere ankle flex away. You don't even need the 8-speed automatic gearbox to drop a cog or two, either, spot a de-restricted speed limit on the edge of town and the Amarok engine will happily and promptly haul you up to 60 miles per hour in 5th or 6th gear. The Amarok already does well, 14,800 have sold since launch in 2011 and 2015 was its most successful year. It offers a rare blend of car-like cabin and road manners, with off-road ability and a low ad be big enough to carry a Euro pallet. If you don't know what a Euro pallet is, don't worry, your kayak will still go in the back. There's more tech, too, inside you'll find a new infotainment system, featuring a larger 6.3-inch touchscreen with sat-nav, smartphone connectivity, and carnet, an online service that delivers news traffic and fuel prices. In terms of practicality the Amarok is unchanged, the 4-motion system remains and offers permanent 4-wheel drive with automatic models, and a selectable system for manuals. There's an off-road mode and electronic differential lock to help find traction in slippy conditions, and if you're a disaster prepper, there's also an optional mechanical diff lock for hardcore off-roading. In either instance, you can scale steep inclines, up to 45 degrees, thanks to clearance angles of 29 degrees at the front and 24 degrees at the rear. Piloted clumsily around a technically tricky and tight off-road course, we were impressed by how not stuck the Amarok remained. Around the back you get the 2.52 square meter cargo bay, 1.55 meters long by 1.62 meters wide with a lashing ring in each corner to tie down your wakeboard. A gross vehicle weight of 3,290 kg grants a payload of 1,114 kg on this model, plus a towing capacity of 3,100 kg. Inside the Amarok you'll find three 12 volt sockets, plus one in the cargo area, and four deep door pockets big enough for large bottles of water, or Lucos Aid Sport plus a large storage bin under the padded central armrest. It comes with a long list of kit, including a DAB radio, 6.3-inch media system with sat-nav, bison headlights, parking sensors, aircon, cruise control, hill start and descent control, 19-inch alloys, Ravenna blue metallic paint, 19-inch alloys and leather trim. Normal models are called Trendline and Highline, and there's an entry spec coming in 2017 called Startline, which features a lower power output and a manual gearbox. The only car you need label is thrown around a lot but this VW Amarok makes a genuine case for itself, it's comfortable, fast, drives well and has a massive boot that you can fill with wetsuits and scuba equipment. A near pound 40 comma bottom line sounds pricey for a workhorse but there isn't much that offers this combination of luxury and pragmatism this side of a more expensive SUV. Please subscribe.